Guards here are vigilant. Show me what lies ahead.
Sunan, guide me. Have a look, Sunan. I need your eyes, my friend. What see you, old friend? to place on the pedestal.
su bola aliciado. Possible, Alicia. I know you want me to work with her, but I know, I know. What more can I do? She won't trust me. Is Cassandra talking to herself? <laughs> She's truly mad. Good riddance. Be gentle if they spot me.
What do you see? Aid me, be my eyes. Stretch your wings, Sunan. I should not be seen in this area. <laughs> Shh. 
Show me.
so I can sacrifice you to the fairies. You're asking if you can kill me? Since the nightmare started, the fairies have whispered in my ear, promising power if I find sacrifices for them. They've even led me to one of their treasures from my hard work. The prettiest shard. So please, into the pool now. Fairies are tricky creatures. Are you sure that shard isn't muddling your mind? I haven't quite felt like myself lately. You could be onto something. <gasps> Take this shard far away from me, please. Let's get out of here. Run up the sail! Sing, my ravens. Pick up. One step closer. Yeah. <laughs> 
Shards. Time to unlock the temple and to end the nightmares. And <laughs> Cassandra thought I needed her help. Strange place. Who could have known this was on the Isle of Sky?
More coming. I had this under control. Under control? Looks like you were about to get skewered. I can defend myself. You didn't need to come. Hey, you missed it. Let me rephrase that. You shouldn't have come. I know my possessions make things complicated. These people are attacking me because of you. I know, I know. Can we talk about this once they're dead? I should have been honest about my presence activating the artifact. I'm sorry. And I know me being here. No one would be trying to kill me if you weren't here right now. I know. Trust me. You will need my help once we reach the artifact. These people are nothing compared to its power. I'm not getting rid of you, am I? Don't worry. I'll grow on you. <sighs> I've... I've seen mechanisms like this before. I'll get the light working. You direct the beams to those plates near the door. So, I can move these, I see. One down, one to go.
Finally! Those pots and weapons are so strange. They're from my land. What are they doing here? It's an illusion caused by the artifact. And you being near it. That mask looks unique. I've torn many of those masks from the faces of cultists. Even knowing their illusions, to see all these things from my... my... Home? I don't have a home. Not anymore. Not so bad to work with, after all. Terrible at following orders, though. <laughs> Give me a little credit. It's my first time working with another person in... I don't know how many years. That must get lonely. It does, from time to time. But it's the path I'm meant to walk. Anyway, I should get going. It's not good for me to stay in one place long. Thank you for your help. Truly. Wait. The Norse celebrate their victories, and since in the end you did help, why not come out for a drink with me? I... I don't know about that. It's not really good for me to be seen by too many people. If everyone drinks enough, no one will ever know you were here. All right. What can it hurt? Hopefully you're ahead tomorrow morning if we have a great time. Meet you at the Longhouse in Kildaraklan. See you there.
Come on, Jack. Let's go. There you are. Ready for that drink? Let's head inside. What is it? There are... a lot of people. I haven't been to a party in some time. I guess I'm... nervous. It's not as though you're going in there alone. I'll be with you. <laughs> I guess you're right. Let's go inside. For a drink? What about you? Ah. <laughs> hmm. I've always wanted to try meat. Hey, what do you say? We find out who the real Norseman is with a little drinking contest. I'd say you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Be kissing a flagstone soon. been drinking wine, I would have won. Wine? <laughs> That's child's play. Not if it's from Marcos's vineyard. That swill could build paint from a vase. Marcos? Who's Marcos? An old friend that made truly terrible wine. <laughs> Malaga. <laughs> Malaga. You really are drunk. Now you're just spouting nonsense. <laughs> no. No, it's a Greek swear word. It's malaka. 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 <laughs> malaka. That's it. You got it. Now, let me teach the you. The bride and the groom are here. Crashing a wedding? It was arrogant to assume these people were here to celebrate us saving their asses. Come, let's join in their revelry. <laughs> what do you say we make that bride's day and get rid of that asshole? Don't you mean that Malacca? Indeed. <laughs> 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 
Wedding. We actually saved it twice. All in a day's work. <laughs> oh, aren't you the heroes who saved the island and our wedding? I did a little more than she did. But yes. We would love it if you both gave a toast at our wedding. We hardly know you. What would we say? But your exploits have made our wedding a day to remember. Please, regale us with your tale. I could be up for that. What about you, Eivor? All right. But if we're going to do this together, Cassandra, let's make it interesting. What do you suggest? A flighting competition, of course. Ah. Never tried it myself. I should warn you, though, I've battled wits with great philosophers. Stop boasting and prove yourself. <clears throat> my day began the strangest way. An axe thrown at my head. to slay. There stood Eivor, hot-headed and brash. <laughs> to see us now, you'd not believe our clash. <sighs> mm. It took an ambush or two and one dusty old temple for Eivor to see that I could be helpful. But somehow I've melted her cold Norse heart. And despite her transgressions, I'll give her a fresh start. I really thought this would be better. Eivor did the heavy lifting, left the tracking job to I. In the end, we triumphed, chasing the nightmares far from sky. And to the bride and groom on this historic day. If your love survived this, Nothing stands in your way. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. You've really made this a night to remember. It's been a while since I've been the center of attention. How did it feel? Strangely familiar. I'm glad you invited me here tonight. It was nothing. No, really. Thank you. I needed this. More than I knew. Hey, 
Edith, did you come for the wedding? I couldn't miss it. My cousin is the bride. And of course, I should thank you. Mm. Clearly, you were able to help my people. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here celebrating. <laughs> I can't take all the credit. I had some help. True. Valka put you on this path after all. Was she right, by the way? Did you part ways with that girl? Randvi, as she foresaw? No. Ranvi was never on the Isle of Skye. Ah, well, even Valkar makes mistakes. Still, it's good you didn't need to say goodbye to a friend. What an unforgettable night. Off we go. Eivor, I want to thank you on behalf of myself and Bridget. Our wedding was the greatest day of my life. And it could never have gone so well without you. Truly, Gunnar. It was my pleasure. What have you got for me today? I can get you that one easy. My pieces are good, but that one's very good. Worthy of the gods. Ah. 
one's pretty good. Done for now. I must take my leave. So long. Go, Sunan.